hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button and the bell button for notification in my previous video we have talked about estimating the square root of an irrational number to the nearest hundreds if you haven't watched that video please click the suggested video above now for this lesson we are going to talk about plotting irrational numbers on the number line as I have talked about in my previous video, this is more like of my lesson in determining which two integers the square root of a number lie, or which two positive integers is this irrational number in between of. So this is like more of plotting in the number line. If you haven't watched my video about this, you have to click it in the suggested video above first before you watch this video because it would be harder for you to understand if you haven't watched my previous video. Now, in plotting irrational numbers on a number line, we estimate first the square root of the given irrational number and to which two consecutive integers it lies in between. Let's have an example. Locate and plot the square root of 3 on a number line. This number is between 1 and 2 because the principal roots of 1 and 2 are 1 and 4. 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. Since 3 is closer to 4 than to 1, the square root of 3 is closer to 2. Now we plot the square root of 3 closer to 2. Looks like that. Next example, we locate and plot the square root of 21 on a number line. This number is between 4 and 5 because these are the principal roots of 16 and 25. Since 21 is closer to 25 than to 16, the square root of 21 is closer to 5 than to 4. Now to plot the square root of 21 closer to 5, let us see our illustration. It is closer to 5 than to 4. Next example, we have to locate and plot the square root of 8. Now this number is between 9 and 10, principal roots of 81 and 100. Since 87 is closer to 81, the square root of 87 then is closer to 9 than to 10. Now we plot the square root of 87 closer to 9, as illustrated in our number line. This is quite an easy topic if you have watched my previous video, right? Now let's have an activity. This is estimating the given square root and finding the letter that corresponds to it on the number line. Um, if you are given this kind of example where there are five uh, illustrations in the number line or you can find five dots in the number line and you also have five given numbers or radicals, remember what I have said before that there is a positive correlation between the square root and the radicand. Therefore, if the radicand is less, then the square root is less. It corresponds. So in this illustration, letter A is the least value and letter E is the most value. So we find the least value that is the square root of 6. We can now answer it as letter A. Next, to the square root of 6, we have the square root of 11, number 5, that is B. Then, we have the square root of 38, number 4, letter C. And then next is 57, we have D. And then 99, we have E. Remember, we just arranged the radicands of the radicals in ascending order from least to greatest to find it out. But of course, we just don't guess and do the guessing game here, we have to verify if our answer is correct. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. For first radical, we have the square root of 57. Since 57 is between um, 49 and 64, but closer to 49. And the square root of 49 is 7, the square root of 64 is 8. Our answer letter D is correct. For a second example, we have the square root of 6. The square root of 6. So we have 6 is it in between 4 and 9. And the square roots of 4 and 9 are 2 and 3. 
So it has to be somewhere between 2 and 3. And our answer letter A is correct. Next, number 3, we have the square root of 99. The square root of 99 obviously should be close to 10 because it is very close to 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. The answer is letter E and that is correct. Number 4, the square root of 38. Now, the square root of 38 should lie between 6 and 7 because 6 squared is 36 and 7 squared is 49, but it should be closer to 6 because 38 is closer to 36. And our answer, letter C, is correct. Our last number is number 5. We have the square root of 11. Now, the square root of 11 should be between 3 and 4 because 3 squared is equal to 9 and 4 squared is equal to 16. Since 9 is closer to 11, so it should be closer to 3. Our answer letter B is correct. Now let's try multiple choice. Locate and plot the square root of 32 on a number line. We have our choices here. What is the first thing that we should consider? Thinking of two perfect squares where 32 lies in between of them. Let us try 4. 4 is equal to the square root of 16. 5 is equal to the square root of 25. And 6 is equal to the square root of 36. Now, obviously, the square root of 32 lies between 25 and 36. There you go. Since the square root of 32 should be between 25 the square root of 25 and the square root of 36 or between 5 and 6 we just find the dot which lies between 5 and 6 and that is letter B obviously that's our answer next we have to locate and plot the square root of 21 on a number line we have our choices now and then again 4 is equal to the square root of 16 5 is equal to the square root of 25 6 is equal to the square root of 36. But the square root of 21 is between 16 and 25, which is obviously between 4 and 5. Now, we find the dot that is between 4 and 5, and obviously that is our answer, letter A. Our last example is to locate and plot the square root of 15 on a number line. We have our choices here. And then let's try 3 is equal to the square root of 9. 4 is equal to the square root of 16. 5 is equal to the square root of 25. And 6 is equal to the square root of 36. Now let's find 15 here. 15 should be close to 16 because it is the next number of or one unit less than 16. So we find the number that is between 3 and 4. Obviously, our answer is letter C. And that ends my video in plotting irrational numbers on a number line. I hope you have learned a lot. And if you have any questions, you can comment it down. If you have other topics that you want me to discuss about, you can also comment it down. Stay tuned and thank you for watching.